What's going on everyone? Thanks for coming here and checking out this video. First off, I just wanted to say happy holidays. Hopefully you all had a good one. But recently though, I don't know if you all know about this or not, but Bethesda made it so the purveyor sells this special mystery pick package that we can get for 60 script. You can read about this on the title screen. I don't know if you all have logged in here lately though. But yeah, as you can see here, it says, Purveyor blah, 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 is celebrating the holidays with a new mystery pick event until December 31st. Choose her mystery pick option to get a random three star legendary item. So in this video, I'm gonna be seeing whether or not her mystery picks are really worth it. I mean, seeming how it's around the holidays, I got a feeling that it might be. Also, by the way, real quick, there are some limited time rewards that we can get from Nuclear Winter. I'm actually wearing one of the outfits that you can get for a limited time. As you can see, here's what it looks like. And if you don't really have the time to grind for this, people that have unlocked it are able to trade this with you. So yeah, keep that in mind. You may have a buddy that has this unlocked that you'll be able to get it from in case you may not have enough time to get this. There's also other limited time rewards as well. I'm not gonna be going over all of that in this video. Just throwing it out there real quick, just in case some of you may not know about that, because that's something special that Bethesda is also doing for the holidays community. I'm hoping I get some good stuff from this. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. This support is greatly appreciated. As always though, that is totally up to you. I would love to know what you all have gotten as well from this mystery pick here. As you can see, it's worth 60 script. Typically, three star items cost 100 script. So it's nice we're getting a little bit of a discount as well. Here goes nothing. Uh, seeing bashing damage come on a gun immediately turns me off. Next. Executioner Salvage Assault Tron head, huh? So far, um. The rewards are not looking so hot. This isn't such a hot start here. Eh. Zealot's board, oh gosh. Assassin's metal right leg. Oh my gosh. So far these rewards blow. Hopefully you'll have better odds than what I'm having currently. A wood chess piece? Wood? I don't even want to look at that. Furious Shepherd's Crook? <laughs> okay, this is kind of a funny weapon. I mean, it doesn't have that bad of perks on it, but it's just not something I'm going to use, to be honest. Still, an interesting weapon nonetheless. Okay, what's next? Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Come on, let me get some good rolls. Another wood armor piece. As soon as I see wood, that just throws me off. Oh, uh, Suppressor's Wardrum. Reduced weight, 50% limb damage. This isn't horrible. It's not something I'm really in search of. That's an alright roll. Oh my gosh, a Troubleshooter Shish Kebab. Wow. So far, I've gotten garbage. And lastly here, a Ghoul Slayer's Death Tambo. So, yeah, that confirms it. At least on this character... All the rewards I got were garbage. Doesn't seem like this mystery pick makes your odds better for rewards. Dang, that sucks. I was thinking that the RNG would be more in our favor, like we'd get better rewards, since this is something special for the holidays, but as you saw, that's not the case. The only thing is, it's cheaper. So in a way, I guess that kind of makes your odds better, because you can purchase more of these. Okay, round number two with the purveyor. Hoping for the best. Nice! Starting off strong here with a Stalker's Lead Pipe. Woo! It even has that 40% faster swing speed. Sheesh. That's some serious luck. Just kidding, obviously. Once again, some more garbage. Up next we got... Ooh! An Urban Scout Armor right leg. Okay. Way 90% less and does not count as armor for the Chameleon Mutation. Plus one agility. Drunk items weight reduced by 20%. Not really what I'm looking for at all. Dang it. Uh, Junkie's baseball bat. Yep, this will be some more script. Up next we got, ooh, a bloodied broadsider. Okay. Okay, this is actually an interesting weapon here. I like the blade effect. Plus 33% bats hit chance. Uh, that could be better if it was maybe like faster reload or something. 
and also has 90% reduced weight. Now this isn't too terrible. Better than what I've been getting, to be completely honest with y'all. Anyways, let's see what we get next here. A troubleshooter's Raider right arm. Man, I am wasting a lot of script. Another baseball bat. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, a rolling pin? Oh, no way. This is just what I was wanting. Thank you, RNG gods. This will do great on the battlefield. And it's troubleshooters. Shoo wee. It's going to be hard to top that one. Oh, wait a minute. A mutant's pitchfork. Yeah, that still doesn't top that rolling pin. I got lucky with that one, I got to say. Oh my gosh. An exterminator's robot left arm. A vampire's bone hammer. Huh. Take 40% less damage while power attacking, 40% faster swing speed, and gain brief health regeneration when you hit an enemy. Actually, this isn't a horrible roll. Except for the part where I don't ever play with a bone hammer, but I don't know. I might try this out. Play with it a little bit. Let's see what we get next here. Ooh, a chameleon. Four scout armor left arm. Receive 15% less limb damage. It's eh, not horrible, I guess. Ah, uh, Berserker's Meat Hook. Uh, not really what I was wanting. But I mean, the rolls on it aren't too horrible. But I typically have high damage resistance. But that 40% faster swing speed and plus one endurance isn't bad to have on a Meat Hook. What's next? Regenerating Raider left arm. Slowly regenerate while not in combat. Plus one strength, food, drink, and chem weights reduced by 20%. Berserker's Gatling Gun. I don't really vats that much with a heavy weapon like this. What do we got next here? A Mutant's Urban Scout Armor, left arm. Plus 10 damage and energy resistance if you are mutated, plus 1 charisma, and ammo weight reduced by 20%. <sighs> Cloaking Marine Armor, left leg. Being hit in melee strength. Ooh, 75% chance to reduce damage by 15% while sprinting. Okay, this is a solid armor piece. I think this is pretty much the only thing that I got good out of this. Oh, and that bloody broadsider. So, so far I've spent about 1800 script and I've gotten two good rewards. Doesn't seem like you have better odds with this mystery pick, to be completely honest with you all. I'm gonna go ahead and script what I can here and just do a little bit of extra opening. Okay. So I got 168 more to spend, which means I can buy two more of those. Ooh! Furious Minigun! Damage increased after each consecutive hit, plus 10 damage while aiming, and your VAT's critical meter fills 15% faster. Eh, that last perk there could be something better, but dang! This is actually pretty solid. Plus 10% damage while aiming, and, and it has a furious effect on a minigun. As we know, miniguns carry a lot of ammunition at once. This is officially the best weapon that I've gotten so far from these. Actually, I take that back. I almost forgot about that troubleshooter's rolling pin that I got. Yeah, that was definitely the best one that I've gotten so far. What do we got next here? Hunter's Ultra... Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is garbage. As soon as I see hunters on a weapon, I immediately get turned off. I'll be completely honest with you all. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and hop on my last character I have. Getting on my Wowzers character. Hoping for the best. Man, this character is hungry and thirsty. Here we go. Oh, starting off strong. Got a rolling pin. All right. Oh, okay. Furious Meat Hook. This actually doesn't have that bad of perks on it. 40% more power attack damage. Take 15% less damage while blocking. And... Well, you know, the Furious Effect damage increased after each consecutive hit on the same target. That's not too horrible, I guess. What do we got next here? A Furious War Drum. Oh, man. A Ghoul Slayer's Shovel. Yeah. This isn't looking so hot. An Unyielding a Raider left... Oh, wait a minute! This is actually pretty solid! It has the unyielding effect, plus one endurance, 
And what's solid about this is the 75% chance to reduce damage by 15% while standing still. That's definitely really good. I mean, it could be a little better if that was like an urban scout armor or Brotherhood of Steel or combat, but still, has some pretty good rolls on it. And thankfully, it's not wood. And lastly, we got a Ghoul Slayer's Pump Action Shotgun. Some more garbage. Actually, I think I might be able to scrounge up a little bit more script. All right, we can buy two more. Ah, <sighs> come on, fingers crossed. Oh, ah. It would have been nice if I got that perk that I just got on the Raider armor on this, combined with the Assassin's effect. <sighs> Last and final one, fingers crossed, let's do this! Oh my gosh, a mutant spear. So yeah, there you guys have it everyone. You all saw my best rewards. I think the best one that I got out of all of them was that Furious minigun. At least that's what I was most excited about. I also got a few pretty good armor pieces as well. Overall though, most of what I got was garbage. And obviously, in case you didn't realize, I was just joking about those rolling pins. Those are in no way actually useful on the battlefield. I mean, you lose some and you win some. This is how it typically goes with the purveyor. It's all based on RNG. I'm just thankful that Bethesda actually added this legendary vendor into the game because it's really beneficial. You do get some really good rewards sometimes from her. If you messed around with opening these mystery picks, I'm interested in knowing some of your best rewards from this. I'm sure other people from the community may be as well. But yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. If you did, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and leave a like. As always, once again, that is totally up to you. Just thought I'd leave a friendly reminder here at the end of this. Until next time, everyone, remember to try to stay safe out there in the wasteland. Peace.